Hi, my name is Sheila Pinkel and I'm running for YJC board. And I want to tell you why I want to be on YJC board. For at least 10 years, I've watched YJC develop generative programming for at-risk youth, formerly incarcerated people and communities wanting to implement transformative justice and CAT 911 programs. The YJC philosophy of teaching young people to sp speak truth to power, thereby enabling the next generation of leaders to create the world they want to live in, has been inspirational and a model of hope. I believe that the environment of growth through mentoring, example, and kindness that prevails at YJC is one of the main reasons that young people survive and thrive there. I want to help with this work in any way I can. I have attended transformative justice and CAT 911 meetings at YJC and believe that these programs offer an alternative to calling 911 when people are having problems. I wrote the transformative justice protocol for the ATI alternatives to incarceration document currently being implemented by the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. Hopefully programs like these will eventually fully replace our current pernicious carceral system. I would like to help expand and deepen the, these training sessions so that participants who want to function as facilitators can get more skills. I also want to reach out to community groups to advise them um, of these training sessions so that they can begin to integrate transformative justice approaches to solving interpersonal conflict in their own social structures and businesses. In addition, I love to cook and bake. And for several years, I taught bread baking to women living in a halfway house in Claremont who had recently been released from prison. They loved the feel of the dough and delighted in creating new forms of bread. And the best part was the stories they told about their childhood memories of being um, baking in their homes. I would love to repurpose one of the rooms at YJC as a kitchen and then begin classes in cooking and baking. I know that this can be difficult because of permitting issues, but I now have some ideas about how to accomplish this very simply. This kitchen could also be used by others as a teaching kitchen as well as for, as for um, courses taken by students in the high school program at YJC. In addition, I had experience in making and using solar ovens and would love to set up a solar cooking laboratory where we experiment with different designs for cookers, find the most efficient and economical designs, and either continue to produce them for sale or teach others in the community how to cook using the sun. I also have used three tiered steamers to efficiently cook in about 20 minutes, three different kinds of food, including soup, vegetables, and a cake. That is enough to last me for a week. I think that these approaches to cooking are in keeping with YJC's effort to expand their garden and to learn how to use nature rather than technology in order to do things like prepare food. I am a retired professor of art and so am pretty free to work for YJC. I think that YJC is a model for healthy living in every way, and I want to contribute however I can to expand the programs already in place and to possibly add new ones.